Hello boys and girls. So for this week, we're going to be learning three new concepts in Letterland. Those concepts are when you and E are in the same word, U, I, and E, W. So we're going to start with the first one, which is U, E. Now when U, E are together in words, we have Mr. U and Mr. E. Mr. U and Mr. E We've learned that when two vowels are walking, the first one is doing the talking. So usually we would we would look at a word and see these two letters together and say, oh, that's making the U sound because Mr. E is looking out for robots. So we're only hearing the U sound. Now, sometimes there's a, something a little bit different that happens when we see the two letter, these two letters together in words. But we're gonna practice first what they would say, knowing the rules we already have learned in Letterland. So we see U-E, usually we're saying that U sound, like in a word such as K-U, Q, okay, making that U sound. Now this word, we're going to split up into two parts because it's kind of a big word. So the first part is r s r s and then the last part we already know, q. So this is the word res q. Now this word is kind of special because Mr. U always makes is making sure to say his name in the word rescue because in case of emergencies he always wants to make sure that he's making his name sound. Now we're gonna talk about two other words that are a little bit different. This is the word l, u, okay? So sometimes when we see u, e in words, it actually makes an u sound because Mr. U is walking so fast we only hear part of his name in the word. And it makes the sound u like in the word zoo at the end of the word. So this is the word l, u another word for you. Glue. Glue. Okay. So when you see U-E, it's either going to make Mr. U sound. So U. Or it's going to make a U sound. So U or U for U-E. Okay. Our second concept is U-I. And that is when we have Mr. U. Okay. And I coming together in words. So, for example, we know that it's going to usually make that, we would think that it would make that U sound. So, let's see if we're correct. Here are some of the words that I have. Suit. Suit. Okay. So, it's not making that U sound. It's actually making that U sound, similar to U-E together. So, suit. J ooze and f fr fruit fruit. So in few words, Mr. U is walking so fast that Mr. I can't keep up and Mr. I has to run to get in place on the same card. And in these words, the vowel men, you and I, they're moving so fast we just once again, here, part of Mr. U's name. So we're making that oo sound. So like suit, suit, juice, juice, and oot, fruit. Okay? So for U, I, you're saying that oo sound. Okay? Now we're going to move down to E, W. Now, this is actually Eddie Elephant and Walter Walrus beside each other. Now, Walter Walrus is usually splashing other land, letterlanders, but this time, Eddie Elephant, he's ready for him. So, when we think about Eddie Elephant and Walter Walrus beside each other, I want you guys to think of it like this. Eddie Elephant, he's waving his arms as Walter Walrus, I'm sorry, 
Walter Walrus is waving his arms as Eddie Elephant is spraying him. So sometimes when that happens, Eddie waves the water wand at Walter Walrus and says, ooh, you. So we can remember in words that have E-W in them that they make either a ooh sound or a you sound. Like if, if Walter Walrus is saying ooh, you to Eddie Elephant. So, this word's a little different, so we're going to save this one for last, but we'll start with this one. N. Ooh. In this case, he's saying that ooh sound at the end, so new. We also have the word blue, like I blew a bubble. Blue. We have the word fl. Ooh. Flu. Okay, and then the one that's going to make all these three words make a ooh sound on the end. So there's another sound that it could make, E-W can make together, and that is the U sound. So let's see if this word follows that pattern. You, few, like I have few of something. So that's making that U sound. So if we see E-W, we're either making a ooh sound or a U sound. You can remember that by saying ooh, you like Walter Walrus does to Eddie Elephant when he sprays him with water. Okay, so we've learned about E-W, U-I, and U-E. I want you guys to be practicing those three concepts this week. I will tell you they are kind of tricky, so just be careful. Also, it would be um, good if you would practice your word sort and building letters or being a good word detective and finding these three concepts and words when you're reading books or when you find words and different things, I would be looking for those just to build your practice. And I'll give you a big um, picture of all of them so you can practice saying them if you would like to say the ones that I've built and you can find your own words as well. All right. Good luck, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.